this is Cujo. He's studio pup. He's part of the crew. Aren't you? Okay. We got work to do. Here we go. This is not the law of resin. This is not what you absolutely should do. This is not the only right way to do things. This is just how we do things, how we prefer to do things, and what works best for our family leader. Yeah. So, um, I guess let's first go over supplies. These are questions, I have a thousand million of them. From you guys wanting to know what we use, what works, what doesn't work, etc. So if you have any other questions that we do not cover, please post in the comments below. First thing you need for resin for is resin. This is the resin we like to use most often. It is a high gloss, um, super hard, so you can use it on tables or you can just pour it on canvases. It's super versatile, it's Iron Virotex Light. Um, it's a two-part resin. It comes in two handy dandy jugs and it's a one-to-one -one ratio has all the instructions on the back, so you don't have to listen to me ramble, but read the box, it's super helpful. That's the number one thing you need. You're also gonna need popsicle sticks to stir with, cups to mix in, um, measuring apparatus. You can use one like this or one that has all the different parts in it. Let's use one of those. Just equal, one part resin, one part hardener equal amounts very important one like this that has the different parts which is mostly not necessary for this kind of resin you just need the first one which is a one-to-one -one. so you'll also need colors you can use anything other than oil because if you use an oil paint it's gonna leak out and make the biggest mess. I think I have one that I use in oil paint. Mm, it's still not dry. This is what happens. I don't know if you're gonna see it. But, I don't know if you can see it. There are little holes down here where it leaks out. It leaks. This is what happens when you use oil. Oh, there you go. These holes leak paint. I did this one four months ago and it has yet to set. There's sticky spots. Ugh, it's just a mess. Hot mess. And you can't even do anything with it. Can't paint over it. It's just done for life. We use a lot of acrylic paints. This one is by Amsterdam. You can also use basic. We use a lot of basic. You can use craft paint. Make sure if you use craft paint that you limit how much you use. It doesn't take much to make an opaque color. If you use too much, it'll turn your resin into like a marshmallow fluff, which is not fun to use. It also gets hard quicker. It sounds bad. It sets faster than otherwise. We use a lot of dyes. This one is always on sale at Hobby Lobby, so we like to use this one. Make sure if you use a dye like this, you sieve it. Is that? Sieve Como se dice sieve? Okay. Um, strainer. Strainer. Will you hand me one of the strainers? Thank you, sir. You need a cleaner. Um, a small hole strainer so that you can get all the chunks out, because there will be chunks. My favorite thing to use is inks. These are Bombay inks. I have shelves. Let's see if I can get you over there. That, all that right there is ink. It's one of my favorite things to use because you can use a lot and make it opaque-ish or you can not use a lot and it'll look kind of like stained glass. A lot of you guys ask about this stuff. This is what we blow over top of our pieces. That adds a lot of selling. I think I have a couple of those somewhere. Do you have one of those? What is it? A piece that we use, the Perlex. That's not a table. There may be a some there. Um, 
while he does that, I'll show you. It's another thing I get a lot of questions on is spray paint. So I said in a couple of my videos that the veining spray paint that's gold is a metallic spray paint. It's oilish, but it is not an oil paint. This is what it is. It's Rust-Oleum metallic. It's got a mirror finish, reflective finish, whatever. That's my favorite. This is the powder. How do I work it? There it is. We just blow it over the top of it and it creates um, a layer without having to do multiple layers, if that makes sense. Other gold spray paints that we use often are this one's not the best. This one's the one that does veins. Well, the gold spray paint itself. So. Oh, yeah. This is a good spray paint. We're going to try this one today. We've never used it. Excited to see what this does. It's by Valspar. It's supposed to also be metallic and give a brilliant effect. Flawless, no drip, etc. I've used other metallics before that didn't give me the veining that this one does. So we're going to experiment together. Okay. What else do we use to color? That's it. You can use anything but oil paint because reasons that I showed you. Other tools that you may need is a torch. A torch is super helpful because it will make your resin thinner so it moves over itself easier. It also pops bubbles that you're gonna get from mixing the two parts of resin together. A lot of people are afraid of torches this one's butane also, by the way. Um, you can also use a heat gun, but the thing about a heat gun is it also blows air. So it's going to move <coughs> your painting, painting piece of art. So that's no good. Um, also, if you're going to use spray paint, do not use this styrofoam. It's bad for the environment, but also Spray paint eats styrofoam, and I found this out the worst way possible and wasted a lot of paint. Also, do not spray spray paint into plastic because it will also eat it. We use these little mouthwash cups. They're out of paper, so it's the best thing. Anyways, that's pretty much everything you will need other than what you need to prep your surface. If you use wood, make sure you seal it with some kind of polyurethane. We use this one a lot. There's another one that we use that I can't seem to find right now, but it's handy. Just make sure you seal it because air will seep through the bottom of any wood surface and create air pockets beyond when you work with it. So like after it sets. Anyways, stay tuned to the next video because we're gonna go over, where's my notes? what you can pour on. You're welcome. So um, if you like this video or if you have comments, questions, concerns, make sure to list them below in the comments. Please subscribe, like, share, tell your friends, tell your loved ones, tell everybody. Everybody. Um, thank you for the support. See you next video. Take